Welcome back to CUTV News Center. I'm Will Moore with this week's Vulcan Sports Report. With the onset of March comes tournament time in collegiate basketball and for the California Vulcan teams, an opportunity to capture a PSAC championship. The Vulcan men entered the opening round of action with a matchup against the defending PSAC champion Crimson Hawks of IUP on Tuesday night, looking to keep their season alive. Let's go to the Memorial Fieldhouse on the IUP campus for the highlights. In this game, Bill Brown and company looking for revenge against their arch rivals on the road, but the Hawks would come out firing on all cylinders to start the game as Scooter Rankin hits the three. IUP's up 17-6 early. Cal Steve Swick wasn't ready to pack it in yet, though, as he takes the pass from Freddie Apia and makes the huge dunk. Second half now, California trails by two, and Swick using the glass to his advantage. Cal has battled back from 12 down to tie it at 37. 40-40 now, Quentin Harding puts it down with the dunk, and the Vulcans are looking to shock the Memorial Fieldhouse. It's 42-40 Cal. 48-48 Joe Baronado from no man's land hits the long three. California's back ahead, 51-48. A minute and a half left in the game, Ashton Smith drains the three for the Hawks IUP. They're back up by four, 64-60. Final 30 seconds, and Joe Baronado, against all odds, hits this three from the Homer City power plant and one. California up 68 or down 68-66 to IUP. However, California could not catch back up as the Crimson Hawks would hold on for a wild ride at the Memorial Fieldhouse. 73-68, the final score. California season's over, but Rashad Hatton and Steve Swick both had 13 points. Ashton Smith for IUP led all scorers with 24 points. IUP will move on to face East Stroudsburg on Friday in the PSAC semifinals. While both teams qualified for the PSAC tournament, the Vulcan women's team entered as the third seed in the West for their first round matchup against second seeded Indiana. California would need a victory against the Crimson Hawks to punch their ticket to the semifinals. Let's go back up to Indiana County for the highlights of this game. To start the game, California would get the early jump on the Hawks as Amy Johns makes it 8-0 to start, start it off. IUP would wake up quick, though, as Lacey Clark hits the three to tie it up or at 12.25 left in the first half. Amy Johns showing some poise off the Antonenko pass with the three ball. California back up. They're up by 12 at this point. IUP, they're fighting back, though. It's 29.24. Kayla Smith turns it over as time ticks off the clock to Aaron Withers, who banks a shot as time expires. IUP has rallied from that down 12. It's now a three-point ball game at halftime. Second half, Raya Gadsden nails the three ball to extend the Vulcans' lead to six. It's 36-30, California. Caitlin Marshall for the Hawks gets the fadeaway jumper there. The, two, the def, deficit is now four with a minute 44 left. The Vulcans were too much to handle for the Hawks, though. Amy Johns finds Steph Michael to, to seal the deal. California up by 10, and they would hold on to that 10-point lead. 61-51 the final. Kayla Smith had 21 points and 17 rebounds, a monster game. She's also the PSAC West Athlete of the Week. Amy Johns added 14 points, and Raya Gadsden had 12 points and 6 rebounds off the bench. California will advance to their 11th straight PSAC semifinal when they take on the number one seeded Bloomsburg Huskies out in the East. That game will be Saturday. You can catch that on CUTV on tape delay and live on America One. With the Vulcans' victory over our tribal IUP, California takes a bus trip to Bloomsburg University this weekend for the subsequent rounds of the PSAC Championship Tournament. With that said, we now turn it over to Alex Kunkel, who is over at the CUTV Sports set with an in-depth look at the upcoming tournament. Alex? The California Vulcans will be making their 11th consecutive appearance in the PSAC semifinal round, and on Friday, they will meet the top seed in the East, the Bloomsburg Huskies. The Huskies enter Friday's matchup with a 22-5 overall record, including a 13-1 mark in PSAC East play. The last time the Huskies lost was January 19th, when they fell to Shippensburg at home. The Huskies are led by sophomore Dana Weiler, who is third in the PSAC with an 18.1 points per game mark. She is followed by junior Kelsey Gallagher, who has 16.4 points per game and a fellow sophomore Kayla Oxenrider, who has 11.9 points per game. 
The Huskies are the top-ranked offense in all the PSAC. However, they have had problems with rebounding. Their rebounding margin is 13th in the conference. California and Bloomsburg have met three times in the PSAC tournament, with the Vulcans winning the last one in 2001, 81-72. The Vulcans, however, have met the Huskies just twice in the past four years. Most recently, January 4th of this year, when California defeated Bloomsburg 77-72, Kayla Smith had 19 points and 14 rebounds to lead the way. The Vulcans, if they win, will be looking for their fifth PSAC championship. The Huskies are on track for their second. Both teams, however, are looking for that elusive automatic berth into the NCAA tournament next week. Stay tuned to CU TV for the latest on the Vulcans playoff push. For CU TV News Center, I'm Alex Kunkel. Thank you, Alex. Now, turning from the hardwood to the ice, California's men's CHE Hockey Club continued its own tournament push this past weekend when they faced the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown. California would hold a 4-3 lead in the third period when Vince Lark would score for UPJ to tie it up and send it into overtime. The loose puck in overtime would be picked up by Dan Tonini, who would score the game winner just a minute and 14 seconds in. Take a look at the, the replay here. Get a good angle of the shot. And California would win this game and advance to the CHE Championship Series against rival Robert Morris University in a best-of-three game series starting this Friday night at 9 o'clock at the Blade Runners Ice Complex in Bethel Park. So, guys, um, this weekend, California women's basketball heading up to Bloomsburg for the final rounds of PSAC action. Uh, I don't think they're taking a fan bus this weekend, but the games will be live on uh, the radio and streaming over the internet. I'll Can I get a chance sure to catch to that? Tune in so we can cheer our Lady Vulcans to victory again. Hopefully, we will come out on top. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to make the trip with you guys, so I'll definitely have to tune in as well. All right. Thanks, Will. No problem. That will do it for this edition of News Center. Have a great spring break.